What's up everybody? So in today's video, we're going to install VMware Workstation Pro and set up a Kali VM in it. Uh, as you all know, back in May, VMware Workstation Pro and VMware Fusion Pro for Mac uh, were made free for personal use. And also there is, an, there is a licensed version available for commercial use. And to be able to install it, you have to download it from Broadcom now. And I'll mention this blog post uh, in the description of the video. So First, we need to register on Broadcom. We can do, I'm going to do this using a temporary mail just for the showcase. And we're going to hit next. We will get a verification code on our email. I've already registered using my mail, so I'll install it using that. But just to walk you through the registration process, I'm going to do this. We'll copy the code. I think I have a space up front. And we we'll paste it here, verify and continue. I'll enter my name, India, uh, security, just use any password. I accept, create account, and we will let me save this. There we go, update and i'll do it later now we can log in with the username and password we don't need that so there we go next and we'll enter the password here sign in and when you're signed in, go back to this blog and there are the links available to download it. We're going to copy the link and we're going to paste it here. What? Okay. So now we are logged in and I, either we can go to like VMware Cloud Foundation and go to my downloads. We can search up VMware Workstation Pro here. Uh, VMware, what? Bro, okay. VMware Workstation Pro. And there we go, we found it. Or you can paste the link from the blog. You will be redirected to the same place. So we will need to download this personally use Windows, the latest version. And I'll open here too. And we will click on I agree. We, we will do the screening first. Yes. It will ask for basic address stuff. And after you authenticate using that, uh, I'm just going to enter random shit. I don't even remember the zip code. I'll do this random things. And after you submit it, you will be redirected to the same page. And let me show you personal use this is my main account that I use so this way now you can now you can just click on this again and your download will begin there we go I already downloaded this so I won't do it again I'll hit close close and I'll go there I'll double click on the exe file and yes it will begin the installation process and after that, we also need to install Kali. So we'll go to kali.org slash get Kali. I'll mention all these links in the description of the video. We can hit next. I accept the terms. Just basic installation process. We'll go with the defaults, not changing anything. Yes, install. So till we wait for this to install, let's install Kali. So Either you can download an installer ISO image or you can download the pre-built images for VMware and VirtualBox. I'm going to do this and I'm using VMware. So I'm going to download this. I'm going to download this one and I already have downloaded it for you. So I'll close this and as you see, this is seven zip file. So we'll download the seven zip to, to be able to extract it. And I'm using 64 bit windows version. So I'll download this and after downloading it and we can just right click on the file and go to seven zip and we can extract it here. 
until we wait for it to extract our VMware is downloaded successfully. Let's finish this and open it up. I'm going to pin it to taskbar. There we go. And when you first try to install the VMware after downloading the exe file, it will ask you for a license key. You can just hit, uh, you can just click on the personal use and it won't ask you for the license key because it's free. And we have to wait for this to finish so we can directly open Kali in our VMware Registration Pro and get on with the hacking stuff. So uh, also in my upcoming videos, I'm working on content for uh, beginners. Uh, like uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll, I'm recording a video for about Linux for beginner stuff, and then we'll move forward on Triac me and basic Linux Prevex stuff and basic networking and how to play CTFs and stuff. So I'll, I'm also curating a playlist for you guys, so you can go and check out on my channel and we are done extracting it. So open this folder and there is a VMX file. You can just double click on it. It will open up and VMware on booting. We don't have to manually install Kali. It's already pre-built. We can just directly log in and get on the terminal. And the default credentials to log in is Kali Kali. And I'll just show it up in a bit. So this was the video guys, basically. And if you encounter any error or you are not able to download VMware Registration Pro at the first place from Broadcom, you can ping me up on Discord and I'll hit you back. And we can just log in using Kali Kali. There we go. We are under Linux. We successfully set up a Linux system and using a, this VMware hypervisor. So. Remember the shortcut from previous video, we can use Control Alt T to open up a terminal. And let's see, who am I? We are Kali. So this was the video guys, and I hope you liked it. Uh, see you till next one.